time from various places and bill for time. When in a new time entry, you will have some required fields and other non-required fields to choose from. Your five default required fields will be your client, which you can click in to pull down the client list, type in the client's name, or add a new client if you have access to do so. Project, which may say something like matter or case or whatever the mnemonic was changed to in your settings. Activity, private description, and labor time. If you do not wish to use the project option, in your settings you can allow for non-project related entries to be saved so you do not have to add a project for each of your clients. Also, the activity requirement can be turned off, so if you do not want to use an activity for each entry, you can go and uncheck require activity type on time entries in your settings. Other options in the time entry are the timer, which you can start and pause whenever needed, for user, which can be pulled down for users who have access to add time for other users. You will also have the option to update your text that shows on your invoice. Uncheck Show Private Description on the Invoice, and you will see the Public Description box appear. This allows you to fill in a less detailed description for your client to see, and in the Private Description, you can enter in a description that will be internal for when in running reports. Data work allows you to choose the date of the entry. Start and end times allow you to track start and end times per entry and have that calculate your labor time. Entry type will be set to hourly work depending on your project settings, but you can pull this down to choose flat fee work for a one-time flat fee entry. The billable box will be checked by default depending on the settings for your project. Unchecking this will make the entry non-billable, which will show the client the hours worked but at no charge or zero dollars on their invoice. Exclude from invoice means that the entry will be non-billable and internal for the client. You can still run reports on the entry, but it will not pull onto an invoice. Now this option will only be available if it's turned on in your user permissions. The override rate option is available if turned on in your permissions as well. This allows you to check the box and turn a new rate just for this particular time entry. Travel time allows you to add hours per travel and billable hours show labor plus travel together. If you want to override the billable hours, you can check the box. So say you work six hours, but you only want to charge for three of those hours. You can enter that here. You then have three saving options at the bottom. Save and Duplicate allows you to save your entry, but keep everything filled in on your screen. This comes in handy if you have to add the same entry details over and over again, or if you have to add more entries for the same client. You can make the changes that are necessary and save it again and again as needed. Save and New allows you to save the entry, but clear it and refill it in again. And Save and Close means to save the entry and close it down. Thank you for watching the Bill for Time Add Time tutorial and continue watching for the Add Expense tutorial next.